You're listening to the CIP podcast, The Study of Broadcast, Season 4, Episode 9. In this show, we will explore the world of study abroad, offering advice, insights, and travel stories, bridging perspectives and cultures along the way. I'm your host, Avery. I'm a peer helper with CIP, and I studied abroad at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland during the winter 2023 semester. On this episode, we'll be speaking with three University of Guelph students who I went on my exchange with. We will be sharing our experience meeting each other prior to exchange, studying abroad, and in our case, living together. Let's get right into it. Today on the show, we are pleased to welcome Amelia, Lindsay, and Gabby. To get started, can each of you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and your exchange experience? I will start, and then everyone can share. Okay, so as I said, my name's Avery, and I'm a fourth-year biological science student here at the University of Guelph. And my exchange experience was honestly the best decision of my whole life. I learned so much about myself and the world, and I loved every second of it. I'm Gabby, and I'm also a fourth-year student. I'm in environmental science at the University of Guelph, and exchange for me was, like, like Avery said, the best decision I ever made, and I feel like I grew so much, and I made so many connections with people all around the world, and I wouldn't change a thing about it. My name's Amelia. I'm also a fourth-year student. I'm in biomedical science at the University of Guelph. And honestly, it was the best five months of my life. I met so many amazing people and visited so many unique places. Um, My name's Lindsay, and I'm also a fourth year student in um, neuroscience at the University of Guelph. And same thing, uh, exchange was one of the best experiences of my life, and I would recommend it to anyone who has the opportunity. Okay, so before we were all placed at Aberdeen, we didn't know each other. Can someone explain how we initially got connected? So when we first got our placements to Aberdeen and we accepted and we were like officially going there, um, CIP sent out an email with all of the other students at UOG who were also going to Aberdeen at the same time as us. And when I saw that email, I just um, immediately like sent back responding to everybody and said, send your Instagram so that I can make a group chat. And then through that group chat, the four of us just connected and then ended up being like really close. And then we kind of talked from there and we met up and just organized um, our living situation from there. And what were your emotions when you were leaving and traveling to Scotland? Um, It's definitely an emotional roller coaster. Um, There's lots of ups and downs, but overall, it's such an amazing experience, and I learned so much about the world and myself. When I was leaving, it was a little bit overwhelming, all the stuff you have to do to prepare, and knowing that you're leaving your friends and family for so long was an overwhelming experience, but more than that, it was also very exciting knowing that you'll spend the next six months traveling and meeting new people and having new experiences, and once you get there, you quickly adjust to the new climate and the new environment um, and it's pretty easy to immerse yourself in uh, different different things um, and to meet new people. Overall I came back a lot more confident and found that I knew a lot more about myself and met so many new people that are amazing and are still a part of my life. What was the process of finding housing at the University of Aberdeen? So after we met up with each other, we all got together and started looking at houses. We all decided we liked the same residence, so we requested to live together. It actually ended up working perfectly. We got a little flat with like four bedrooms and a kitchen, and it really made the whole experience to be able to live together. So can you tell me a little bit more about what it was like living together? Um, so living together, like at first, it was honestly really nice to have familiar people around that I came with, um, I flew over with, and that were going through the same things that I was going through. Um, We were able to go grocery shopping and kind of experience all of the different products and stores and things like that together, and we became super close very quickly just through this like shared experience that we were all learning and growing and doing different things, and we ended up um, being obviously super close and still are from that experience, and we did lots of trips together, and we've now created lifelong friendships through the experience of living together. How did connecting with each other before you left enhance your study abroad experience? Honestly, um, this connection was the thing that enhanced my experience so much. It just allowed to have like that level of security and familiarity back home by having people that were from the same country and university and knowing that when you're going through all the different experiences of 
meeting new people and being exposed to a completely different culture, having that connection of that other people are going through the same stuff and also experiencing the same culture shock as you helped the experience feel a lot more grounded and connected. Adding on to that, having each other made the entire like traveling experience and adjusting experience um, much easier. We booked all our flights together and met up in the airport before we left and flew over. So we were able to uh, help each other through the very long flight and through all of the logistics that traveling requires. Um, but also personally, when I first arrived in Aberdeen, I was really emotional. I was very nervous about my decision moving across the world. I definitely had my doubts about my decision and was really considering going home. So having these girls um, in my flat and we were motivating each other to get out and do things and explore a new environment made me fall in love with Aberdeen even more and uh, allowed me to become closer to these girls and now they are some of my closest friends. Okay, so now moving into the end of our study abroad experience, what was it like to have each other back in Guelph when you returned? Honestly, I'm so grateful to come back to Guelph and still have them here. Exchange is amazing. You meet so many people and make so many new friends, but there's something about coming back and still being able to share memories and experiences. We still all have our inside jokes, talk about our travels, and we're all able to adjust to life back in Canada together. Now I'm able to see them every day, meet all of their friends, which has been amazing. All right, so is there any final advice you would like to give to students who are considering studying abroad? The first thing that I say to anybody who mentions to you that they're interested in studying abroad is to just do it. Um, I definitely was in the same boat being like, oh, I don't know if it's the right decision, but go for it and do it and you don't know what it's going to be like until you get there. Also, I would say reach out to other students that are going to the same school as you. Um, in our case, which may, may not happen for you, but like we all live together, which was amazing. Even if you don't end up living together, it's just nice to have that connection to home that's at the same place as you so you can meet up with them and talk about what you're all going through and have a connection back to, to Guelph and to Canada and somebody that's in the same situation as you. So definitely reach out to people just to make those connections. Yes, I totally agree. I would also say that it is totally okay to be nervous and scared to go on exchange. Personally, as I said before, I was so nervous and so scared and it ended up being the best decision of my life and I wouldn't trade it for anything. So being nervous and scared is normal. Moving across the world is a big deal and these are big changes in your life. So feeling nervous is totally normal and everything will work out exactly the way it's supposed to. Just to add on to that, another thing I think that really helps with the nerves when you get there is just getting involved with as much as you can and keeping yourself busy. So you can try to join different clubs, travel, book trips, and just hang out with friends as much as possible. Because the more you think about home, the harder it is. But if you keep yourself busy, it's easier to adjust. Another thing I want to emphasize is that it's okay if you don't get your first choice. Um, personally, I had my heart set on France, and Aberdeen was actually my third choice. So then. Once I got my um, notification back that um, I was accepted to Aberdeen and all my other choices, I was a little bit taken back and wasn't sure if I was actually going to go on exchange. But no matter what, it'll be a great experience and you're immersing yourself in a different culture and meeting new people. And I'm so, so glad that I ended up going to Scotland. Amazing. Well, that's all for today's episode of the Study Abroadcast. Don't forget to explore your own study abroad opportunities on the CIP website, uofguelph.ca slash CIP, or follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is CIP underscore Guelph. Thanks for listening, and thanks to Amelia, Lindsay, and Gabby for sharing their perspectives and advice. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will unpack the study abroad experience even further. Bye.